Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today we are back with a fragrance video. This is a house that I have been wearing for a couple of weeks now and I can't wait to chat more about it. Recently I did talk about it in one of my videos, one of the scents, but I am going to touch up on a couple of other fragrances and I'm so excited to share with you guys this gorgeous new fragrance house that everything will be linked down below in the description box as always. And um, if you you are new of course of course hit the subscribe button become part of our wonderful family we love to talk things beauty fragrance lifestyle so hit the subscribe button also turn your post notifications so you're notified every single time I upload a new video and let's jump into this so a couple of weeks back Lorga Parfums did reach out to me and wanted to send me some of their fragrances this video is not sponsored they did gift me um, two full-size bottles as well as some samples and I was really grateful I love when brands reach out to me and want me to do an authentic review of their scents with no obligations and they were just super sweet about everything so I have been testing these out for weeks now okay it's not like they sent it to me and I'm filming the video right away I've had them for a couple of weeks and that's what I like to do sometimes especially when it is a new fragrance house I really want to make sure that it is good quality okay and worth your while and when you're spending a little bit more money you know you got to make sure that it is worth it they are a fragrance house from France they definitely pride themselves in the quality of their fragrances and everything will be listed down below in the description box so this this one I recently talked about in one of my videos, my top 10 winter fragrances that I'll be wearing. This is Amber Platin and here is that bottle real quickly before we start talking about the scent. I mean, wow. When I say this is heavy, it is super heavy. So you know they definitely invested in these bottles. Even the cap has so much weight. This scent over here is my favorite okay i do have another one that i really really like but this one gourmand dreams like if you love your praline your caramel your spiciness like like think of like nutmeg and cinnamon those kind of spices if you love your vanilla fragrances this is absolutely gorgeous it's definitely on the sweet side i'm not gonna lie think of like lancome oud bouquet that level of sweetness but i want to say this one is not as dense as oud bouquet it's a little bit smoother the mister on these are beautiful catch this look at that it's just like super fine mist all the way Mm, love it has a very like almost like a bitter opening think of like almonds I want to say it kind of gives me that almondy vibe I believe they might be almond in this one yeah and so it opens up a little bitter you will get that kind of nutty vibe in the opening but then it definitely dries down to a more gourmand like a true gourmand scent where you are going to pick up that creamy vanilla you're going to pick up the caramel you're going to pick up a lot of gorgeous and delicious notes in here it's very warm and it's definitely more spicy. It's not a peppery spicy. I want to point that out. It's not like super peppery, but it definitely has spices in there. Again, think of like these cooking spices, like baking spices. That's the kind of spices that I pick up on this one and it's just like delicious. This is definitely a perfect winter scent. I don't see myself wearing this for hotter months i think it's just going to be a little too sweet to be totally honest but for those colder months those chilly months this is the perfect scent because it really does warm you up and smells very decadent and delicious you don't need to overspray her she's very very potent and the sillage is pretty incredible so to me two to three sprays three being max and i am good to go if i overdo it i know it's just going to be too much for those who are around me especially if we are not going out too often we are spraying this we are around the house you don't want to overdo it so two to three sprays is more than enough for it to last you all day long and if you're spraying it on your clothes 
it's definitely gonna stick it is that good now the other full-size bottle that i have is this one over here and this is called rose thin scents so you guys can look at that bottle and just to point that this is not like a just a sticker it definitely looks a little bit more substantial um it does have this feel to it also right there so this one here is rosy it's incensey it's tonka bean it's warm and a little spicy this is definitely more on the mature side and to be totally honest out of all of the ones that i smelt from lorga perfumes this is probably the one that i am not super into at the moment um, it's definitely giving me a little bit of this like Middle Eastern vibe where the incense is quite heavy and quite predominant on my skin at least. So if you love those type of scents like the rose and the incense and warmth, you are going to adore this fragrance because it definitely does shine through in that category. But I'm not super into heavy incense fragrances and that's why this didn't sit quite well on my skin it still is very smooth very well refined um it's just really heavy on the incense at the moment again i find this a little bit more mature but i still think it's quite high class and elegant like this definitely smells like someone that is completely put together 100 percent. like when i smell this i think of like those gorgeous women from dubai like that is what i get from this fragrance over here another very potent scent because i did try and wear this a couple of times it's very high po potent and it will leave a massive trail especially if you are to over spray it it's very long lasting even though it's quite incensey, this one is very smooth and airy. Like it's not a dense, heavy fragrance. Like this one here is definitely a lot more on the denser side compared to this one, simply because it does have those heavier gourmand notes. This is a little bit more smooth um, in the scent. And it just has a little bit more of a mature, classy touch to it i want to say it's definitely a unique one it's you're not going to find a ton of people wearing this so you are going to stand out again i personally didn't love it simply because i'm not into the heavy incense scents right now now you know with fragrance your nose develops differently all the time and your taste for fragrance has changed so i never know maybe in a couple of months i'm going to be absolutely obsessed with it so i'll definitely keep it in my collection now they also did send me three different um little samples of the other scents that they carry in their line so there is more to offer this one over here i'm just gonna take it out this is called musk Palawan, I think that's how you say it. So this is the little vial that they went ahead and sent. I'm actually going to spray it on paper so that I don't mix it up with any other scents on my hand, okay? So I'm gonna spray it on this paper here, just like that. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. This is a like, I need a full bottle of this one. Uh, this is like vacation vibes. Like it smells coconutty, airy, a little salty. It's so beautiful. It really does take me to like a vacation if I close my eyes. I am really loving this one. It's a little creamy also. Mm, yeah, it's like, it kind of reminds me of Soleil from Tom Ford. But this one, I find like there's this coconutty vibe that is way more predominant. A little bit of a green touch. I don't know what it is in here, but there's a little bit of this green touch. I am obsessed with this one. Like, I, it's really hard for me to find great fragrances that are like vacation scents that I think are like amazing and well worth the price. This one, instantly when I smelled it, I was like, yes, this is this is absolutely stunning it's vacation beach vibes flip-flops i mean relaxation oh love this one i really really enjoy this one let me go on to the next one this is called 
Curafin. I am going to put the names <laughs> in the description box for you guys to check out and also on the screen because I'm probably butchering half of these names. So let me remind myself of this one. Oh, okay. This one leans more masculine. It's definitely for the woody tobacco lovers. That's what I'm picking up right away. I'm getting this woody, darker vibe, a little bit more masculine. I don't know if there's tobacco in here, but I definitely picked up some sort of like tobacco leaf. Um, it's a little bit on the drier side. I don't know if there's chocolate in here. I feel like I'm getting a hint of like a dark chocolate. Maybe it's from the tobacco. But this is very confident, smooth, boss lady vibes. Like if a woman's going to pull this off, this is boss lady vibes. Think of, mm, I'm trying to think. Think of like tobacco vanille, but a little bit more masculine than tobacco vanille from Tom Ford. That is the vibe that this fragrance takes me. I can definitely see myself wearing this. I would probably layer it with something a little bit sweet just to kind of add a little bit more of a feminine touch because to me, this definitely leans a lot more masculine, but it is very smooth. It is very, very smooth, very elegant. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Very confident. Like think of like going to a meeting, a business meeting, that type of professional affair. This is like the fragrance that would be perfect for that. I could definitely see a man wearing this as a signature scent for sure because it's just, it just smells a little bit more powerful. Last but not least, we have Oud Yesse. And there is that little bottle there. Again, I'm going to put the names of these fragrances on the screen as well as the notes so you guys can get a better um, look at that and more information on them. Now, Oud, we already know how that's going to come through. I don't know if it's going to be an animalic Oud. Let's see. Let me remind myself. Oh, yeah. This is... Yeah, I remember this one. This is definitely more of a animalic oud type of fragrance, so you have to enjoy that. Um, the oud note is definitely quite in the forefront, but it's not it's not heavy. It's not a heavy oud, but it's animalic. So there's a big difference there. It's not heavy in your face like dense oud but it's an animalic type of oud. So you have to enjoy animalic fragrances to really kind of capture the essence of this one. It still is very, very smooth. I'm just trying to see the opening of that again. Yeah, that oud note really does come through within seconds of you spraying this scent. It's not gonna be like, oh, in the super dry down. It's definitely there in the forefront. And it's quite animalic. Now, I do want to point out that these fragrances definitely develop on the skin. Like, they don't stay linear. They do kind of intensify or something drops a little bit or another note becomes a little bit more predominant. So they do develop on the skin over time. This is definitely a true, like, kind of unisex fragrance. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely unisex. But towards the masculine side... I think I'm I'm really thinking about that because of the oud note in here. Totally honest here, not my favorite. I I my skin really can't handle animalic fragrances to be totally honest with you guys. Like I can do oud fragrances, but when they are that animalic oud, it really just doesn't uh, vibe with my skin. I don't like the smell of it on myself but there are a ton of people that can actually apply that on the skin and it smells stunning it's kind of crazy how fragrance work but i do want to say my top my top three let's pick my top three so kur afin is one of my top threes of course this gourmand baby over here is one of my top threes and then the other one that was more of the beachy vibes, which is Musk Palawan. 
I need this in my life. Like I need a full bottle of this in my life. It is, we can't go anywhere. You spray this on, you close your eyes. You are literally on a vacation with this scent. It definitely transports you. So I really, really like this one. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. I love being able to bring to you guys new fragrances that are not widely talked about. I want you to be able to expand your horizon and be able to try things that are not super popular but are definitely high quality and worth your while. So definitely look out for more of these style of videos where I'll be introducing a couple of new scents that maybe aren't readily uh, spoken about on our community but are definitely incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Larga Parfums for sending out these gems and I will see you all on the next one. Ciao!